Good morning everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day. It is the first race day of the season. It is now currently 5 a.m. in the morning. I have been running on four hours of sleep and a prayer right now, and uh, no dinner either. Really hustling to get everything wrapped up for our very first race of the season. We spent a long night last night in the uh, race shop slash race trailer because that's what we have, and uh, really got the car buttoned up. So we got the vinyl on it, finished up a few little minor details, and now it is ready to roll and hit the track. With that said, we have a six hour drive all the way down to Kern County Raceway, where we will be racing the very first national of the year for us. So I'm really excited to get down to Kern County Raceway. I've never raced there before, and it looks like a really big fast track, and uh, you really gotta keep your momentum up. With that said, we got the truck running right now. We're all loaded up and ready to head that way. Let's get on the road, and uh, it's a race day, baby, of 2024. First one, let's go. Well, we finally made it down here to Kern County Raceway. We left at the house around 5 a.m. and then we got here at like 1.15 um, p.m. So quite a bit of a drive there. Like I said, we only got four hours of sleep. So kind of running a little low on energy, but nonetheless, super excited to get rolling here. I think we pill draw to 13, someone else pill draw to 10. So we should be front row of heat two if my math is uh, correct and how I'm thinking. So like the highest pill would go one, two, three, and then four, five, six, now it's at your front row, or if it goes one, one, two, three, four, I don't really know how they specifically do it, but um, I know we'll be on the front row somewhere, I assume, unless there's an invert. With that said, this is the first time seeing Kern County Raceway here. This place is sweet. This whole facility is really badass. The asphalt track over there, I wanna go check out a little bit later in the weekend. I would love to go here for an actual ARCA race or late model race or something. I have seen races online from this place, and it puts on a really good show. Nonetheless, the dirt track facility is super spotless and clean. With that said, super stoked to get rolling here. We got a new GoPro angle, new location for this weekend. We're gonna try some things out, have a little fun. Let's go out for hot laps and then uh, see what we can do in the heat race. Well, we just made it through tech. Um, we got through clean, no no problems at all. The only little hiccup, as I said, our rear bumper was out too far. Um, so it was out too far an inch. So that's where we're re-jilling it right now, pulling it back into what is tech or spec for them. But other than that, we made it through. We have one thing that's really close, but they said it's legal. So, you know, you're within those adjustments where this is like your number and you can go half inch plus or minus. So we're within spec and um, we made it through. So I think we're gonna be set up pretty good here. It's a little hot out here today. It's, it's, it's weird going from like really high 60s, low, low 70s in Reading to 94 today. It's really hot. So the breeze is nice. Oh my goodness. A little dusty and windy as you can see. A little more in a breeze actually. But uh, anyways, we're down here in Kern County. This place is really, really cool. Uh, anyways, we're gonna get ready to go here and uh, see how we do at night number one at Eastern State's North Car Nationals here in Kern County. <laughs>
it felt really good. I was watching, you know, my dad and after I went out like probably 80 to 100% off the first few laps and I saw we were gapping and, and I kind of slowed down just to try to feel some things out and uh, really backed my pace off there just to, you know, finish the race out and, and come home and do what we need to do to set ourselves up for the feature tonight. I don't know if it's going to be straight up. If it is, I think we'll start either first or second, depending on how the other car finished that was on the pull of heat one. Um, other than that, the car felt really good. Maybe a tick loose. We'll tighten her up, get her set up, good to go. But I guess they said my transponder wasn't transponding. So it's blinking, it's working. I'm going to go give them my number and uh, we'll go from there. So good good way to start off no engine problems uh the fi code did not come on so i think it was a cam position sensor and we got that changed over we will uh reset and get ready for the main event tonight let's bring home our first race and a first win of the year tonight so something i wanted to mention real quick that i forgot was the uh sunset here is really nice but when you're on the track for the heat race that i was in you cannot see going into turn three i'm sure the gopro will show it but the sun was like just cresting under my visor so i was like squinting you know safety squints to see through the sun but uh other than that having a good night here now we get to just relax the car set up ready to go we tightened her up a tick and uh we're gonna see how the track comes to us
fucking weird, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell was that all about? Getting it digging like that, like Dale Jr. <laughs> hooked up and shot forward, and when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. He went by me so fast, split second, and we're talking a millimeter.
So we just got done with the main event there. That really was a blast. Um, that track started on the bottom, then it kind of went to the middle, and then we really got ripping right up around the top there. Um, I don't know, just thinking back on the race, I thought we had a really good pace out front on the bottom. And then um, we had that restart, obviously, got some contact from another driver. And then the car just kind of didn't feel right after that. But uh, once it kind of went to the top, we just were, were on defense. We were never on offense. And I think if you were the one on offense and you have all the momentum into the corner and out, um, you're definitely going to be the faster car around there. Nonetheless, congratulations to Merrick Pipe. I know he watches the videos. He was absolutely ripping. He had uh, he just had another amount of drive off next to the whole field. Um, but with that said, I thought we were really gonna have a shot at him there on those restarts. I, I just, I didn't really know where to run. I could really charge to the top into one and two and then kind of in the center, I would just lose it. Like it would just all back up and he would be driving off. So um, I decided, well, I'm gonna try to copy him and follow him. And it actually, I got into a rut after one of the restarts on the one and two and it gave me like enough mo stopping momentum to drive off with him. And then down into three and four, I really drove it in there. I could have really slid it, but it wouldn't have been a clean slider and I don't want to do that. So we came off side by side and he had the momentum and prevailed there. But uh, on the last restart where we really had our final shot, I just shifted into fourth and had nothing coming out of two. Uh, it was kind of hanging up out of four when we would be on the restart from uh, second to third. And then I thought I did not get to third. So I shifted again and we ultimately got to fourth. So it was kind of weird. The car was bogging around there and under that red flag, I was kind of thinking like, well, maybe if I'm this high up around the top, I should maybe shift into fourth and see if we can get some more momentum. More momentum. But uh, that that ultimately did not work so with that said a really fun race there dang it I wish we could uh, I wish we could have won that um, at least came home second but uh, nothing to hang our heads about we had really good pace I think we can get a little bit better and then uh, we will see what tomorrow brings so thank you guys all for watching uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll through tech now so they got two more main events we gotta go through tech get the car back over here then we'll load it up and I'll give you my final thoughts a huge thank you to all of my partners. I could not do this this year without all of them. Crown Motors, Derek Taylor Construction, Todd Thompson, Joe Gibson, Josh Lazoya, Coors Light, Nate Suspension, Big Valley Sanitation, Hey Axner Construction.